Hey JB, it's uh, Max again. So I've looked at several different support ticket systems. I've been on this thing for hours. So this is probably the best that I could come up with that's going to be cost effective for you that I don't have to reprogram everything over again. And <clears throat> so what we have here, it's called OS Ticket. And this is pretty cool. I, I kind of like it. But uh, that's not the point. It's if you like it or not. So imagine you have a WordPress, like a regular WordPress, like I have at AimWebsitePro.com. And then we have this, like, Kasangu uh, theme or whatever, where we're talking the, uh, where we were talking about with the, the three different packages. But instead of the packages being, like, a vi with video or without video or whatnot, why not have the packages be like a one, two, three package, like one's a three month, six month, and then a year subscription. And and the more months they buy, the more money they save. Okay. Now <clears throat> the here's so once they do that, then what you could do is register them for this ticket system. Okay. And so here this where I have this Firefox, okay, this where you have this browser is my Firefox browser. This is my Chrome browser. Okay. So, my, in my Chrome browser, I am the uh, administrator. Okay. So let me bring over uh, my other, oh, my other thing here. There we go. So this is the administrator. You see, I got, just got a temporary URL. This will. This is where you would put your website. Now I'd set all this up for you, and these are just uh, different things. But okay, so let's go first of all to the dashboard. Okay, so the dashboard you have, uh, you know, these are your system logs. Okay, congratulations, OS is installed, and here's some information about the different types of programming languages that we're using for this ticket. And this has a lot of different settings in it as well. So this first one would be your, your company settings, where I put JB Help Desk here. Uh, you put your website, phone number, address, so on and so forth. Basically, it's all fill in the blanks, okay? These would be uh, tickets. These are all your settings now. This is how you want everything to be handled. Like if you wanted the ticket IDs to be sequential, one, two, three, four, you have that checked. If you want them to be random, you click that. Um, you can have, uh, you know, defrag priority, you know, whichever one shows up first. Uh, you can have the capture code if, like, it's public, but this is going to be a private thing. So <clears throat> let's go over here uh, to emails. Okay. Oh, also, also, uh, I should put here default page size. Uh, you could put the default page size at any size you want. Okay, and then you can put the help desk, desk status, you know, online, offline, so on and so forth. Okay, so going to tickets, here's the different settings for tickets that you can have. You can hide the staff's name, responses. You could have a whole staff of people responding to people. So you could build kind of an army of people that you feel that are qualified. Uh, for example, maybe you'll have an electrical contractor responding to electrical questions. Maybe you'll have a uh, you know, a frame builder, a roofer responding to roofer questions, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's where, you know, these different things will come in handy for you. If we go to emails, we're just going to use, the, you could have different types of templates, uh, whatever you want the uh, default system email to be, uh, so on and so forth. So, you could set these up to, you know, the, these are all just a bunch of different settings. I could set them up for you. You could go in here and set them up. Okay, here's the different access. Now, this is probably one of the most important things. Here you can have them reset their password every two months, three months, or 12 months, or whatever, or just don't have any expiration at all. And then here you could allow password reset or not allow. So if you don't allow a password reset and you have a maximum of six months, that means every six months, you know, the people are just, they're, they're going to have to contact you. But, you, you know, because in six months, their whole 
policy is going to run out, or you could set that 12 if 12 months is going to be your maximum. And you don't want to have to remember, you know, when the people's uh, subscriptions are running out. Here's the uh, uh, excessive logins. Um, there's just all different types of things that that go with this. Okay, um, <clears throat> here's where you can manage our help talk help topics. Okay, so here's feedback, general inquiry, but maybe we want to put uh, electrical. So we'll put E L E C T or I C A L electrical and have it active and. You can have it a private or internal, so just you and your staff can handle it, or you can have it public, and then just click Add Topic, just like that. And so if we go to the user who wants to open a new ticket, okay, and right here you can see that electrical is one of the help topics that he can choose from, okay. And then he can go down here, put Issue Summary, um, How to Wire a Light Bulb. Um, I want to do this in my bedroom and then they could actually uh, pick a picture you know open a picture up and then just click create ticket like that and they can attach a, a ticket to it so whenever you come here if you go to the staff panel okay you see this how to wire a light bulb and you'll also notice you'll get it in your email as well and in fact you'll get it right in here let me see if I can get this thing to cooperate with me okay so you see new ticket alert okay hi admin new ticket 75 blah blah created from Jack Smack support I want to do you know I want to do this in my bedroom so wire that new light bulb Okay, so if you go into here as the administrator, uh, you'll be able to, you know, uh, make some canned responses or, you know, add more recipients or, or whatnot. But you can see what they wrote right here and, uh, you know, check out the picture. And uh, you can post an internal note. Maybe something, maybe you're doing some research on it. Uh, you could transfer it to a different department, maintenance or sales or whatever, or assign the ticket to somebody else on your staff member. Okay? So that there's a lot of good things about this that I thought that you would be able to utilize as you grow for your service. So it's called the OS T Ticket Support Platform. I wanted to make sure that this was good for you, so I'm just going over these things. Uh, there, you know, like anything else, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, the other thing that I had went through is, and it's not as elaborate, and it's integrated with WordPress. Let me go down here. It's called, I made one called Tickets. And so as we look at the, the ticket system, I left a little, uh, I opened a ticket here, and it's just not as uh, robust. You can't assign it to anything. Let me go to the ticket to the dashboard. And you go to the tickets, uh, you could add the different categories, you know, like electrical, or I don't know, we'll just call this uh, cabinets, something like that. Okay. So here would be the different tickets. And then as the people come on your website, you would have to password protect you know and give them a way to create a ticket which is kind of uh, I didn't find it very impressive I don't think it's gonna be uh, good for what you want but what you could do is take WordPress and have your three different uh, categories you know like we were talking about and uh, <clears throat> use a different theme for them to purchase you know the different uh, uh, plans and I, I'm thinking you know three months seven months and then a year maybe and have it so it's the more they pay for it, the the least you know the least amount it is so I mean give me your thoughts on this this is the best thing that I have found and I could go ahead uh, but I just didn't want to put this in the proposal and everything uh, I had something else but it just wasn't going the way that we needed it to so I'm gonna shoot you this you tell me what you think and then I'll be able to build a proposal around this and about what we talked about here. 
So, so here's like a person whenever they come in, they can see that they have two different uh, support tickets, right? Now you, as the administrator, you could go come here and look at this ticket thread. You could post a reply. Um, I'm just going to put this is a reply, just like that. You could choose a file and send it to them as well. And we put post reply. And then this is what the user gets on his end. Let me refresh. So how to wire a light bulb, you notice that he got a reply. So if we go here, we can see that your reply is this is a reply. Now he could reply back to you. You know, thank you, just like that. And he can, of course, upload another image. So you guys can go back and forth, you know, endlessly with this stuff. And so that's kind of like what we were looking for. And it keeps everything organized uh, for you as well. And that's what we were looking at. So you notice as we come back here, uh, we get a little number three here that lets us know that there's three responses. You know, we look, look down through here and uh, we can see that they said thank you. So here's the opening ticket. Here's your response. Here's the thank you. And so on and so forth and you could go back and forth like this so I'm thinking that this is probably the best solution for you for what we want to do you can also put in um, um, like with with the file attachment if you wanted to upload an audio file or something of that nature you can upload an audio file as well so which we were taught which we were talking about before with the, the Skype thing but anyway this is what I got. So I've got a, I've got quite a bit of time invested in this now. So I don't want to, to be shooting. Uh, I don't want to waste any time. So just give me your thoughts on this. If this is good, then we'll build build the proposal around this content management system. I think that it's a better uh, solution for you, and I can make a more in depth tutorial t for you as well on how to use it. Okay, thanks. Bye.